Hello and welcome to Jamila's Stamping Grounds. Today I would like to share with you the bandana technique. The results looks just like the print you would find on a bandana or kerchief. And here's my sample card using that technique. This technique works best if you use strong bright colors. So pick at least three. Here I'm using Bermuda Bay, Cucumber Crush, and Daffodil Delight. So step one you're going to take a piece of cardstock and you're going to sponge or dauber ink randomly to create a background. So I'll start with my Cucumber Crush and build up my ink in different spots. And you continue like this with the next color. So I will use Bermuda Bay. Then maybe I will do some Daffodil Delight. And you keep sponging on the ink to get a good strong background that you can use. Like that. You continue in that fashion. Then you'll end up with a nice strong background like this. Then you take your black ink and select for step number two a variety of related images and you're going to stamp them in the black ink. What I chose for my card here was sort of a garden theme where I had a flower and the flowering pot and a little tool. So I'm going to show you those here and you usually take your biggest image first and make sure that it's really inked up well and put that down, stamp that down. Then you just continue to repeat that image randomly and try to get as solid an image as you can. You would do a couple more with that image. Now I'm going to take my next largest image and fill in some spots in between. You get the idea with that one. And thirdly, you would cover the whole um, piece of cardstock. I'm just doing this briefly to show the variety of the images. And so on and so forth. So you would continue like that until everything is covered in. Then you're left with a piece of cardstock that looks like this. Then the last step three is to take a white gel pen and add some detailing, just a bit of detailing that you would like on the images. As you can see that I'm doing here, I'm just adding a bit of detailing and I'm repeating the same detailing on each image. So the flowers, I'm just doing a little bit on the petals, on the spade or shovel image I'm going just a little bit like this on the flower or the watering pot. I'm doing a little bit like that. Maybe I'll do some dots here. And you just continue that. You just want a little bit. You don't want to overwhelm the image. So that's step three. And then the final result is your card, again, with all of the steps. Step one for the color. Step two, stamp the images. Step three, detailing with a white gel pen. That's the bandana technique, and if you enjoyed any of these products and would like to purchase some of them, you can find them here at my website on the screen in the uh, online store. So thank you for joining me today to learn about the bandana technique.